Hi again, it's Dr. Romanovic from German Heart Center here in Dubai. Today we are going to cover a very important topic which is high blood pressure. What is blood pressure? When the heart pumps blood through the arteries, the blood puts pressure on the artery walls. This is known as blood pressure. High blood pressure, also called hypertension, can lead to heart attacks, heart failure, stroke, plaque buildup in the arteries, kidney disease, vision loss, sexual dysfunction. Blood pressure is determined both by the amount of blood your heart pumps and the amount of resistance to blood flow in your arteries. The more blood your heart pumps and the narrower your arteries, the higher your blood pressure. A blood pressure reading is given in millimeters of mercury and it has two numbers. Top number, systolic pressure, the first or upper number measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats. This is the time when your ventricles, the lower two chambers of your heart, squeeze, pushing blood out to the rest of your body. And bottom number, diastolic pressure, the second or lower number measures the pressure in your arteries between beats. When the heart rests, this is the time when the heart fills with the blood and get oxygen. You can have high blood pressure for years without any symptoms. Uncontrolled high blood pressure can lead to serious health problems. Fortunately, high blood pressure can be easily detected. And once you know your high blood pressure, you can work with your doctor to control it. What is the best way to diagnose high blood pressure? Of course, the best way to diagnose is to have your blood pressure measured. Blood pressure measurements fall into several categories. Normal blood pressure is less than 120 over 80 and elevated blood pressure is 120 to 129 over 80 and at that point we should recommend healthy lifestyle changes and check it every three to six months. Stage one high blood pressure is 130 to 139 over 80 to 89. Basically what we do we calculate your 10-year risk of heart disease or stroke using the heart risk calculator. If you have less than 10% risk, we have to stress the lifestyle changes and if higher, then lifestyle changes and medication with monthly follow-ups anti-blood pressure control. Now, if your blood pressure is over 140, over 19, that's considered stage two high blood pressure. At this point, we can start to consider a pharmacological approach in addition to lifestyle changes in order to get your blood pressure to the normal values. Hypertensive crisis. This stage of high blood pressure requires medical attention. If your blood pressure readings suddenly exceed 180 over 120, wait five minutes and then test your blood pressure again. If your readings are still unusually high, contact your doctor immediately. You could be experiencing a hypertensive crisis. If your blood pressure is higher than 180 over 120 and you are experiencing signs of possible organ damage such as chest pain, shortness of breath, back pain, numbness, weakness, change in vision or difficulty, difficulty speaking, do not wait to see if your pressure comes down on its own. Call 998. Both numbers in a blood pressure reading are important, but after age 50, the systolic reading is even more important. Isolated systolic hypertension is a condition in which the diastolic pressure is normal, less than 80, but systolic pressure is high, greater than or equal to 130. This is a common type of high blood pressure among people older than 65. Because blood pressure normally varies during the day and may increase during a doctor visit, your doctor will likely take several blood pressure readings at three or more separate appointments before diagnosing you with high blood pressure. Taking your blood pressure at home, home monitoring is an important way to confirm if you have high blood pressure, to check if your blood pressure treatment is working or to diagnose worsening high blood pressure. How can I lower my blood pressure? If your doctor or nurse has prescribed blood pressure medicine, the most important thing you can do is to take it. If it causes side effects, do not just stop taking it. Instead, 
talk to your doctor or nurse about the problems it causes. They might be able to lower your dose or switch you to another medicine. If cost is a problem, mention that too. They might be able to put you on less expensive medicine. In some another video, I am going to talk about medicines for high blood pressure. Can I do anything on my own? Yes, you have a lot of control over your blood pressure. To lower it, lose weight if you are overweight, choose a diet low in fat and rich in fruits, vegetables and low fat dairy products, reduce the amount of salt you eat, do something active for at least 30 minutes a day on most days of the, of the week and reduce how much alcohol you drink, for example if you drink more than two alcoholic drinks per day. If you enjoy this format, please let me know because I want to continue making content that you enjoy. Stay healthy and happy. See you soon.